Hello, I'm Mr. Emmons So. Today I would like to talk about the HKDSC sample paper, Mathematics Compulsory, Paper 1, Session A2, Question 14. Please read the following message as this is the foundation of the whole series. If you don't have enough time, please uh, pause the video. Otherwise, we are going to the question. Now, for question 14, uh, we have five data collecting from a store regarding to the customer percent percentage of our newspaper. We call it newspaper A. And in question A, this is relatively easy because it's just asking the median and the arithmetic mean. For median, we have to sort the data first into an ascending order, just like what I have shown on the PowerPoint. And then we will find out the middle. I always like to use a rectangle to represent data. And then I would like to cut it into half and make sure that both sides have the even number of data. In our case, because we have five data, so I know that I cut. When I cut it, I will have the uh, the middle data. I will cut it on the middle data, and this middle data actually is the median. In this case, it is x three. I always say the first data is x one. X, the second one, x2, and so on. What about the arithmetic mean? You must be very familiar with it because we have learned this in primary school, probably primary five. All right, this is the end of question A. And now we go to question B. Read the sample paper. It will give you a new scenario. And in this new scenario, we have two more data. We don't know what this is. We just know it is A percent and P percent. And then, according to the given uh, condition, we need to find out uh, several value. B part one. This is said that we want to find the least possible value of the median. So I just gave you an extreme condition like this because A and B are still unknown. Uh, it can be many possible values. And in this case, I just treat this two number smaller than 55% or equal to 55%. Then I will have the least possible value of the medium. As I said, I will always like to stick with this rectangle to find out the middle one. It makes it clear if the data is large. So remember to conclude your application problem all the time. What about in the scenario 2 for part 2? Now one of the possible scenario would be the media unchanged and the arithmetic unchanged. Let's deal with the arithmetic mean first. Again, we're using the same kinds of knowledge to do with it. And then you may say, wow, wh where does this uh, 60 times 5 come from? Actually, this 60 times 5 is the data sum of the old data. Okay, if the old all arith arithmetic mean is 60%, then the total of the old data will be 60% times 5, because in the old sets data, we have 5 data. And then after simplification, we have A plus B equals 120. And then we will cut into uh, our target scenario. There are several possible values. Uh, I just put it at the side or just beside the median because the median is unchanged. So I have to set the median to be 62.
And then there are some restraint for A and B with the position. If I put A in the first line, the one I'm pointing, uh, A is under the condition which is equals or less than 55 and B which is at least 63. So uh, one of the possible value is 51 for A and 69 for B. However, I can also put A and B uh, get closer to the medium, just like what I'm pointing, what I am pointing now. In this case, A can be 57 because A can be the range between 58 and 62. However, in this case, B must be 62, as you can see. And there are other several possible uh, scenarios which obey these two uh, restrictions. So there is another answer like 57 and 63. This is the end of part B. Now we come to part C. Um, there is a claim you have to look at, look at the question paper. However, this claim is regarding to two things. Whether we accept this claim, we have to look at two things. First is representativeness. If a data can represent the whole population, then this is a good data. If not, uh, then it will not be a good data. And then what about the, uh, the other thing is randomness. If we collect data, we want to see uh, whether it is correct, uh, collected by random. Otherwise, there are some factors which will affect the result. Okay, now let me say it clearly again. For data collection, in the case that we cannot collect the whole population data, we have to uh, collect data just by sample. Then we have to query whether this data collection is good enough to represent the whole knot, the whole population. We will look at two things of data. First, representativeness, and second, whether it is by random or randomness. Okay, if I want to reject this claim, I will say that if there are a lot of magazine stores in Tan H, data obtained from just a store is not representative. Moreover, the store may not be chosen by random, so I cannot accept this claim. The claim is rejected. All right, but there is a second point of view. We can look at look at um, the data collection in this way. If there are few magazine store in HA, representativeness of data obtaining from just a store is acceptable. Moreover, the store may be chosen by random. That means if representativeness and randomness are satisfied, then the data connection is satisfied. So the claim is accepted. Thank you very much for watching this video. And this is the end of session A2. Thank you very much and have a, have a nice day.